God of creation, we sing praise to you. But even as we raise our voices, we know we have faltered and failed. Walking on paths that turned our hearts inward. Sitting with those who scoffed at the cries of people in poverty. Mocking those on the margins denying the earth in her distress. Too often our leaves have withered, our branches are barren. We have failed to be pruned, and the axe is now poised. Poised to cut down the excesses that crucify all creation, the systems that impoverish all people, the privileges that diminish our faith. But even now it is not too late, for in the face of judgment comes the offer of grace and the hope that dead wood can spring to life. Where we have failed to bear good fruit and share your abundance for the earth, God have mercy. When our actions and intentions have been as chaff for the winds of heaven. God, have mercy. Forgive us, restore us, inspire us now to delight in your purposes, to embrace your possibilities, to inhabit your promises, to flourish as fruit for the world you so love 
and bring healing for all the nations. Amen. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice, and when we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope reborn, this is the song, the song of kingdom come. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice. When we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the hungry. Set them free and set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world without condition. God's love for all, God's love for all. I have a voice. When we sing together, the line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. A reckless love that knows no borders, that speaks the truth to those in power, that shines a light on cool. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. 
He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, truly I tell you, Whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, where the righteous to eternal life. How long will the bellies of children lie empty? How long will their mothers pray in vain? How long will temperatures rise beyond record? How long will the clouds fail to give rain? How long will the crop fields turn into dust? How long will the floods cover the plain? How long will so few live with far too much? How long will so many be denied what they need? How long before the healing of nations? How long will injustice and suffering remain? But heaven, we know, this is much of our making, our scapegoats, our alibis. Our pointing the finger and prayers of how long echo back on our piety and demand us to answer. How long? How long? Come and come soon, Lord. Let the peoples rejoice. From Eden to Calvary, from heaven to earth, lift every voice to sing. Amen.
This Christian Aid Week, we pray for generous hearts and wills quick to help that our nation and government may give generously for relief of the poor and the needy, and that all nations may live in peace, free from fear and hatred. Amen. Give us hearts of self-forgetting compassion, which will move us to give from that which you have given us, and to be good neighbours to those both near and far. For the sake of him who taught us that it is more blessed to give than receive. Even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray that the resources of this fruitful, fertile, fragile earth may be shared fairly among all her peoples. So may we all strive for a world free from greed, abundant in kindness, governed by justice, each caring for all and all caring for each, for the sake of peace. Amen. This Christian Aid Week, we thank you for the willingness of collectors, for the generosity of neighbours, for the donation of cakes, books and works of art, for the concerts, recitals and dramatic performances, for the walks, cycles and sponsored swims, for the bowls of soup, pots of coffee and cups of tea, for the posters, bunting and banners displayed, for the heads and hearts that have been changed, for the prayers spoken and campaign postcards signed, for the acts of worship offered and the stories shared, for the calls for justice, challenging the causes of poverty, and for the millions of envelopes, weighted with coins or light with notes. But most of all, we give you thanks for the millions of lives transformed, so that together we may all flourish. Amen. Christ has no body now but yours No hands, no feet on earth but yours Yours are the eyes through which he looks Compassion on this world Yours are the feet with which he walks to do
has no body now but yours No hands, no feet on earth but yours Yours are the eyes to which he looks Compassion on this world Christ has no body now on earth but yours In the name of God who plants the seeds of justice be hungry. In the name of Christ, who hangs on the tree of love, be fruitful. In the name of the Spirit, who inspires God's will in our hearts and in our lives, be celebrated. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you and with all the peoples of the world today and throughout this Christian Aid week and forevermore. Amen. Yeah.
Who climb God's mountain? 